credits. Oh, that's funny. And you're, and you're like, I would kill to be yes, on. Yes, I would love to be made fun of about this. <laughs> <laughs> like what what TV credit? Like uh no, it was just like uh, oh you, he oh, was you. on he uh, he he was on James Corden. Who knows if he'll ever get on TV again? <laughs> it, was, it was funny, but like it was a way that they were excluding people on accident. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Just with how, like, a uh, uh, lack of self-awareness a lot of yeah. people have. Meanwhile, I'm, like, yeah, trying to get picked at an open mic. Oh, my God. I would love to get in the third group. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to never do an open mic ever again? Oh, I was just thinking it. about that. Have you heard Dan St. Germain say, talk about, hey, like, he he once had kind of a, his last mic he did was, like, a meltdown kind of? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm the, oh, fuck. oh, my life. Oh, no, what's going on? Where's my career? Oh, you've heard about him? <laughs> yeah, Welcome he... back to Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. <laughs> it's me, Mark I'm, Norman. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay. Oh, queer. Okay. Oh, Mark, the other day, uh, I don't drink, and I drink a lot. <laughs> I don't get pussy, and I get a lot of it. <laughs> Yeah, he, uh... I'm just going to pretend to be a successful podcast. <laughs> Instead of having an actual good podcast, yeah. I'm going to just be someone else's fun pod. Ooh, that's good. Welcome back to the real-ass podcast. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome. It's you. you made it weird. <laughs> what? Very, uh, Woody it's Allen hosts Pete, no, You Made It Weird now? Pete, it's Pete if he never left Boston. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to fucking You Made It Fucking Weird, kid. <laughs> made, you ne- made it weird. Go fuck yourself. Get out of here. <laughs> you, you, you big moron. <laughs> you I made... hate you and also God's fake and I think sex is okay. Welcome back to You Made It Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Today, my improv coach—he is a very funny dude. He's gay, and yeah. he said the the word "gay" pejoratively. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like he was like. Oh, yeah, that's he was gay. like. What, he's like, what are teams doing right now? And someone told him, he's like, "Fucking gay, dude." <laughs> <laughs> I want to be gay just so I can use gay again. <laughs> can I switch teams? Oh boy, it would be great. I'll be the Dolezal <laughs> being gay. Do you think Dolezal said the N word? All right, this is not. A... She definitely has. Is this a fertile ground? <laughs> yeah, definitely. She definitely has. Oh, it's called the Kwiatkowski. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, switching teams just to be able to just say to stuff. post a lot. That's like the new version of like uh, converting to Judaism for yep. the jokes. Like, uh-huh. uh, <laughs> oh boy, like, I'm really uh, glad that we're on this hill. Dying yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome to group chat. I'm Robbie Goodwin. <laughs> is this recording? Yeah. Oh uh, no. Now we're rec- now <laughs> this is a nightmare. We're officially recording now. <laughs> Although keep all that stuff in, there was some gold in there. Like oh, when I boy. when I said the N word, <laughs> that was great. Uh, That's what's gonna put you on top. <laughs> <laughs> the top glass show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the top glass. Well, what, show. what if I was the number one show? What if I was number one? <laughs> what if I think it would be like no 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 no. Look, if you're number one, I get it. It's fine. But oh, what, no, but what if it's I was my show about reverb? But if I was, and, <laughs> it's a show about reverb and lighting. If I was fucking number one. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Glass, he's a guy who's great at having a meltdown. It's like oh, the boy. funniest. Oh, it's so funny. Have you seen where like he bakes it in with like making the audience do retail jokes angry? Oh, uh, I don't that, think that's so. That's a thing he has. I don't know if he does it now, but he did for a long time where he would tell a joke and he would ina- he would give the crowd the opportunity like if you ever want me to retell a joke, just yell angrier and I'll yeah. retell it angry. <laughs> and it would murder. <laughs> so funny. I want to see Jim Gaffigan do a furious hot pockets bit. <laughs> Jim, have you seen these fucking ads? <laughs> for hot Hot park! <laughs> <laughs> so I had pizza with this fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Gaffigan uh, would be a great angry comedian. He actually was like angry originally. Really? He has an old Comedy Central half hour where he like swears. Yeah. It was like a it was like a direct choice for him to go clean like partway through his career, and that was when he became successful. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I feel like um, ang- every comedian is fucking pissed. Like deep down, like no comedian isn't. Like, are there any chill comedians? <laughs> I mean, n- not on stage. Like, there's definitely like chill comedians on stage. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. But mo- anyone who's actually on, fine off stage, <laughs> the the happy go lucky, well adjusted guys, never funny. Like yeah. ever, and they're not going to mics at open mics every day. Yeah, <laughs> like, you the know, ones who like, actually are just like fine. Yeah, like Jerry yeah. Seinfeld's become a, like really angry lately. Have you seen him? He's like, I've. What? No, we're not doing that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're like, not doing that. Like, and then he'll also, like, die on a hill on yeah. his show. That's very weird. He'll talk with, like, another white dude about how white dudes have it hard. All right. Let's not <laughs> let's not make fun of white people on the show, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to get a compound media Sorry, audience. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to exclude your entire audience. Yeah, no. You, you think liberals are going to listen to me? No. <laughs> 
Oh man, the first episode we just uh, we talked very seriously about politics for an hour. This is hell yeah. It was fun, but this is a, a, a welcome change of pace. You know, <laughs> it's nice to be here oh, with boy, you. It's a, really a good that idiot. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know fucking anything. <laughs> <laughs> you could just put me in on anything. I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah. I'll apologize half the time. That's why you wrote in Donald Trump, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the last election. <laughs> you wrote him in. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I, that's what Tony Soprano would do. So I said, oh, you're gonna, look, look, this is a Trump household. You're going to walk to the polls. You're going to write in Donald J. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just realized that uh, the name of the show is Group te- Text or Group Chat? Group Chat. Group Chat. And it does make sense that we are not allowed to tell anyone what we said before at the beginning of this conversation. What? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, just, it was too much shit talking. Oh, no one can people. see it. I'm gonna bleep. I'm gonna bleep out the name. It's 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 in there though. <laughs> much and like every also, group chat. I'm not chat. bleeping it out because I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> much like every group chat. If anyone finds out, it'll ruin me. <laughs> I know. I, that was kind of the goal of the show was to be like everyone has like an evil group chat. I feel yeah. like you know what I mean. Like everyone has one where like I feel like Zuckerberg has blackmail on everybody. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like oh, yeah. he just he could ruin every life yeah. by being like. Because there's no term of agreement that says a group chat, like, it feels private. Yeah. But I read that they, like, they they actually showed Facebook Messenger to, like, Spotify and Netflix for, like, advertising data. Oh, so yes, he, they do that. He yeah, could, yeah, yeah. He, like, he That's could why, just... like, you chat with someone on Facebook and you'll see new ads appear online. I'll bet Trump has the best group chat. I, I'll bet he does have <laughs> oh the best. The things he says in private, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He's like, hey guys, this is what I can't say in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is he keep? What is he holding back? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's holding back like nice things. I can't even imagine because I'm like trying to think of something he would say. But it's like, no, he said like, like he says out loud like, this fucking bitch, this fat idiot, <laughs> this fat bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like I wonder if all this group chat, he has a group chat with everyone he ever shit talks and in there he's like, like, hey guys, sorry about that. And that's the only thing he says. <laughs> yeah, what if he's a nice guy he's on nice, Messenger? He apologizes. Oh, mm, was that weird when I said that? <laughs> guys, was that weird? Was that a weird thing to say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Did I come off as rude? <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, I don't think I'm representing the right amount of people out there today. <laughs> you, wait, she's not non binary, binary, is she? I'm very sorry. Uh, she's. she's <laughs> they, I, sorry, I meant they. I don't need to. I don't want a dead name. I misgender. I meant I meant they. It's a conversation. That's what it's about. It's about correcting things in the process. Folks, we have to do better. We have to do better. And I'm talking to POC voices. Uh, all of his, oh my God, all of his group chats are just him doing the asterisk of an action uh, saying, I like, like unhugs flag. By the way, uh, Brandon's version of saying asterisk was uh, miming, Groping grabbing dudes. titties. <laughs> That's how I do an asterisk. It's clamping. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what grammar is? Do you think it's just <laughs> I, for uh, whatever hey, I do? Hey, a... babe, let me show you the Oxford comma. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, do the up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, whenever, uh, whenever I finish a sentence, I poke somebody. <laughs> They call him old Brandon Pokey. <laughs> yeah, he's garnering sexual harassment charges. <laughs> oh, boy. Boom. By the way, my guess is uh, Brandon Garner. <laughs> I really would. I would have been fine if you had not said that. Yeah. <laughs> if you just never even said my name no, the entire yeah. show. My guest is Brandon Garner. And if you want to publish an article that starts with the phrase, five women allege, I, <laughs> now you know his full name. <laughs> oh, boy. Of me, of all people, having that happen would be very It would be funny. so f- Especially if you're innocent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It would be exactly. great if there was like if you like stepped on Israel's toes and they like oh and they like me tooed you somehow you know yeah oh my god <laughs> that would be amazing it'd be very funny <laughs> <laughs> your life yeah. would be ruined but it would be hilarious it would be I mean there's not that much of a career to ruin currently <laughs> all that would happen was me and Owen Benjamin ben- Benjamining where I just suddenly use that as a platform <laughs> yeah 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 I mean I feel like you there are there's an audience you know to oh boy. to just cancel to getting canceled uh, <laughs> yeah there is and it's uh I wish there was like one person who was good in that crowd oh speaking of which I would well dude Michael Jackson is great <laughs> <laughs> I was fair. The Bill Cosby and Michael Jackson are do have good quality material. Do you think, do you think Cosby's picking up any new fans? <laughs> <laughs> now look, I just all my new fans in prison. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh boy. I, I was saying like, uh, 
do you think he's writing bits about prison? Like, do you oh, think definitely. do you think he's just like you ever be out in the yard and you're <laughs> pumping the iron and the yeah. lunch sucks and you do this? But he still insists that people don't like. Uh, it's entirely about how he insists that people don't swear in prison. Yeah. <laughs> do you think he's like a rapist's rapist? Because everyone's a rapist in prison, right? right. Yeah. So what if they're like, uh, damn, he's the goat. Oh, definitely. And he still he still gaslights everyone in prison <laughs> yeah, with his farts. That's <laughs> that's that's my version of <laughs> gaslighting. Boo. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Uh, 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 you're off the show. Okay, that's <laughs> you fine. You have to laugh in my... <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, uh, yeah, uh, oh, so this is funny. R. Kelly, speaking of canceled, mm-hmm. R. Kelly, I was looking at his Facebook. My man is just sharing memes. <laughs> like, uh, really? on Tuesday, he, he did, uh, uh, he posted, you know, before that, for a while, it was just, like, selfie videos of him just being like, I'm innocent, they're trying to destroy my legacy. And then on Tuesday, he shared something from Hollywood Post, Every maths and physics professors be like, and then and then just some oh video. My God. Like, what is his game? Was he just well, trying? He's <laughs> he's he... like, well, I have a lot of followers. I can't release new music. I can't go on tour. Might as well just rack up some likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I mean, he's just gonna become a model now, and people will still give him stuff to model out. And that's he, a good idea. He's a model human. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Oh boy, sick. Hell yeah, dude. I love the way that he just like shares memes. I'm pro memes, and yeah. so I'm pro him. Oh no. By the way, <laughs> R. Kelly Michael Jackson, what a brutal month for wedding DJs. Oh boy, is it? It's a nightmare. <laughs> if Bruno Mars goes down, we gotta cancel all the bar mitzvahs till twenty twenty. Are you just using this podcast to do your material? No one else. <laughs> There's no way that no one is watching my stand up. No, Maybe someone will listen not. to this. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can't play all Adele. People are going to think it's a funeral. That reminds me. I was in the store the other day. <laughs> no, no. My bits are better than yours. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't run your bits. <laughs> Brandon, we met in San Francisco. Uh-huh. What did you, what you think? End of sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were doing crack in the tenderloin. <laughs> uh, what were we going to say about that? Yeah, you were doing crack in the tenderloin. Yeah, that's it. That is the end of that. Uh, do you uh, miss thanks it? Thanks for saving me. Uh, my family... <laughs> Walk found me in the tenderloin, and then they said, uh, "You know what? We're good." And then they left, and they're back in Sacramento. And I yeah. appreciate you extending your hand and showing me how to do comedy and t- turning me into the male Miss Maisel. <laughs> the male Miss Maisel. Mm-hmm, the male Maisel. The, male, the marvelous Mister Maisel. I would watch that. <laughs> Let me tell you, my problem with Miss Maisel. <laughs> The fucking miss pie. Who's gonna watch abroad? <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing. The guy to me who doesn't that realize is... there's a lot of female led shows these days is everyone. He's like, and he also, but like, has like actually like a good re- review. Otherwise, he's like, you know, this uh, the writing is excellent. <laughs> I can't wait for Captain Mob. I love Ca- I love Captain Crunch. I love Captain. Uh, I love Captains. I like the original Ca- Captain Marvel. I'm all about Rick Jones only. I do not like <laughs> Carol Danvers. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love. Captain of my football team, this is going to be great. 20 minutes in, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we met in SF. Uh, it was fine. Um, Do you miss San Francisco at all? Not at all. I fucking hate that city in every way. Oh, why? I like it. Um, oof, everything. Uh, it's a disappointing city uh, because it's a, supposed to be a counterculture icon. And uh, instead, it's just Santa Barbara North. Where it's just a bunch of rich white kids uh, whose parents have let them uh, borrow money to start foundations. Sounds great to me so far. I yeah, dude, it's no what it's all about. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> and there's like literally no culture there whatsoever anymore. It's very disappointing. Yeah. Well, but there's still a lot of neon. Oh, I forgot about that. You I, know what? I'm going to retract my statement. Yeah, you better retract your fucking <laughs> ass. Um, cities based on how much neon there is. Number one, Portland, Oregon. Number two, Austin, Texas. Number Vegas, three, baby! Uh, number three, <laughs> Vegas, baby. <laughs> Does Portland have a lot of neon? Does what? The Portland? Por- yeah. Yeah, Portland and Austin, because they both have like the highest ratio of uh, strip clubs mm. uh, uh, per towns. Uh, we call that the whore ratio. <laughs> whore ratio sands. <laughs> I was thinking about yeah, it. I was trying to go. do it. Oh, man. <laughs> People are either tuning out or tuning in. <laughs> this guy says whore. <laughs> I like him. He says what I'm thinking. I'm going to be the guy who says what people are thinking. Oh, yeah, good move, because no one says that. Um, <laughs> I wrote down under notes for you, open mics. Oh, boy. Oh, good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear your. I'm gonna tear the studio apart. <laughs> I hate everything. You host an open mic, though. Yes, I do, and it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Great <That's>, plug. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sick plug. Uh, it's fine. It's not. Uh, it's an open mic. It's at a bar. That is a very nice bar, Starliner yeah. Bar. Just go there in general. One of my favorite week. mics right next to my house. Big fan top of Top three of, right uh, next mics, to my house. No, top three. There's no other mics next to your house. Yeah, I know. <laughs> one and two is staying home and not bombing. <laughs> That's my one and two also. Uh, you used to host a karaoke show. Yes. Uh, I hosted a karaoke show in San Francisco, and it was my punishment on the world for me not being good at stand-up at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but were you good at karaoke? Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't even like karaoke. <laughs> what do you think's worse, a bad set or a bad karaoke? Uh, bad set. Really? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Karaoke, you can talk over it. Yeah, and you're sing. allowed to. Plus, every karaoke DJ has a system where they will turn the music up if someone's bad. Oh, really? Yeah, so like it's hard to notice if someone's bad. That's why you never really hear someone being truly terrible. I can't sing, so I memorized Eminem's verse and forgot about Dre, and that seems to impress people. That, that's good. That's good. Especially so for how many people try not try to do Eminem and fail. Yeah, because it's no so one, hard. It's a hard flow. Because then I think I can do it. Yeah. On another song, and I'm yep. always out of. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm Slim Shady. Yes, yeah. I'm the real shit. I'm Paul Spaghetti, and oh fuck! You, you forget how good he is at rap. He's like yeah, very he fucking is good at very rapping. Very good. So, yeah, take that. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say who roast should take it. that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking roast. I'm just saying it gives me hope a white man can make it. <laughs> yeah, so what do you say God, to somebody? Hey, or anyone trying to trade? Oh, I'm not gonna do it. But <laughs> trust me, I can do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, the show was okay. Uh, it was. I miss when he rapped. One more thing. I, oh I miss boy, when he, this I miss, is more important. I, yo, I miss when he rapped kind of up here. I'm Slim Shady. I'm light, and now and now he's like this. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, yeah. How did he get angry? He's all just angry now. Before it was like a real personality, and now it's just one note. Kamikaze was sick. It was really good. It was like a good album. I thought it got too much backlash. Like, yeah, uh, I, I do agree that like he's a little over the hill for his anger, but it's still a good album. Yeah, yeah, m much like Mike Judge. The director? Yeah, he made King of the Hill. Oh, <laughs> he's over it. Uh, uh, would you mind adding, uh, taking the silence that from me and then extending it? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a full minute. <laughs> yeah, that's what Martin Scorsese did. He extended the silence. The movie's three hours long, folks. People love it. I watched Gangs in New York. Great movie. Uh, never saw it. It's awesome. It's it's actually. I mean, look. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it's good. It had everyone said it's Harvey's good. touch. Harvey. Harvey Weinstein. He produced it. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> and I feel like Scorsese's kind of lost it after he. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the real magic piece he's missing. It's actually like one of his most like sloppy films. It was clearly because yeah. Harvey's like, can't you cut it? Cut it down. <laughs> Cut it down, you 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 uh, Italian piece of shit. <laughs> He's just like eating chicken fingers. That's a character I want to do. off in a plant. <laughs> oh boy, I love every Italian trope. Is my favorite trope. Like I do believe that like cats, like like uh the best way to describe a cat to anyone is it's the Italian dude whose meal you just interrupted in a restaurant. Right. He's like, well, excuse if you if you don't mind, I'm gonna get back to my pasta. <laughs> and then he starts throwing it back in his mouth with his napkin. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Thanks. I think you can still be mean to Italians. Oh, yeah. Because they're rude to everyone else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, everyone... and plus they were given, like, the white card too early. Yeah. <laughs> everyone from Compound Media is just throwing their iPod in anger now. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is he saying about <laughs> us? Plus it's the funnest language to make up, and it's I, always funny. I hey, thought... Boom, I thought he was going to be racist to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, it's the best language. Plus, I'm learning it right now, and it is fun to say because it is meant to be rhythm. Rhythm, yeah. like it was. Con it was all made by a dude. Yeah, uh, guy Italian. <laughs> yes. So yeah, <laughs> another thing that men made that are good. <laughs> Okay. Put one in the win column for men. Jumps out window. Sure. Murder. <laughs> murders in the loss. I really want this podcast to loss. just be ten minutes of you t saying pro men things with no context. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, murder a savage L for men. <laughs> oh boy, savage L took a real loss. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a setback. But oh boy, the Italian language. Yeah. Oh that's man, a win. Oh man. Speaking of canceled, uh, it's canceled. Saying canceled is canceled now is it <laughs> yeah now that uh a very e okay uh comedy show on netflix has started using it it's no longer cool. what show that dominatrix show 
Uh, uh, the one that's getting panned every, by every, because it's apparently like really when you offensive bang the thing, to it all picks doms. Up, by the way, sorry. What's that? Uh, don't bang because don't it picks bang up the by, table. Yeah, don't it picks up. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, I, I just that's how I express myself. Yeah, <laughs> that's a real problem. Brandon, don't tap your card either. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Everything I'm doing is a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, Mush. edit out all the taps. <laughs> That won't be too hard, right? No, it won't, because it'll all be a bunch of spikes on the on the sound graph. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what are we talking about? We're making, uh, oh, yeah, yeah it's, a new, it's a new dominatrix show. Uh, everyone is saying that uh, it's incredibly offensive to dominatrixes, so it's apparently like getting panned very hard right now. Yeah. And uh, dominatrix left to pan guys on the ass. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Is it hot? <laughs> I'll watch it if it's hot. I'm sure it's hot. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I'll I don't bet. know. I'm probably like still a good show in some ways. I'm sure. I, mean, I don't know. I'm horny already. <laughs> yeah. All right, so <laughs> let's go over what trended this week. Yeah, sick. Uh, I guess David's just not coming. I guess so. Uh, Had a sick ass dropout. It was a very good power move. Oh, um, he said he wrote it down as tomorrow. Oh, good. All right. Well, bye. Right. <laughs> you know who we'll is get canceled? David on a different show. You know who is canceled is this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I want to book you if I knew you were the only guest. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little, uh, you 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 don't just book Stav. <laughs> I don't want to have the most credits in the room. <laughs> also, uh, I'm gonna ask you questions. I meant I was gonna ask David. Okay, that's fine. I'll answer them as if I'm David. Okay, um, David. Fuck you, <laughs> David. You host a show, Dromedary Bar. That's one of my favorite bars. That's right next door to my house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why? Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, David, you open for Stevo. Uh, which is funny because I held Bam Margera's hair as he threw up. <laughs> All right, thanks. I have, a, I have a drinking problem. Hey, David, you're in the Washington Post, right? Yeah. Is it because you got me too? <laughs> yes. It's funny because this is my entire impression is just one word. Yeah. <laughs> David, you're on Last Comics Standing. Yes, I was. <laughs> is that fan cool in real life? <laughs> oh man. Oh, now I'm gonna hit the table just because of that. Uh, the Washington Post but, said he had the mop top haircut and mischievous grin of a twelve year old boy. I want to investigate whoever wrote that. Are you just putting a doing roast jokes on this show? <laughs> hey, David. <laughs> hey, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> That's my impression of a roast battle. This is a real disaster. I'm a ranked roast battler, everybody. <laughs> Speaking of the Washington Post, Hitler trended this week. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> because there was a uh, article called uh, uh, Hitler Hated Judaism, but he loathed Christianity too. I just gotta say, checkmate atheists. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, but it doesn't say anything about Buddhism. Yeah. Might have been a Buddhist. It's so funny that we love Hitler so much that he still makes the news. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's still in all the hits. <laughs> uh, everyone is always, uh, man, you're really trying to get those Reddit follow uh, listeners on this show. <laughs> you think the guys we fucked people are going to listen to this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, it's uh, st- still have him. He's still making the hits. Uh, boy, is it fun how much people will find a chance to bring him in the news. Good brand, I will say. Yeah, he's strong branding. <laughs> strong branding. Uh, I feel like this is, like, just this trended because like I feel like what was the story about? It's just about how he hated religion. Like he's he was not religious, and I feel They're like still doing stories on that on how Hitler wasn't religious. Who made this? Like a oh, it must have been like an op-ed from a freshman in college. <laughs> 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 Look, man, he liked religion. <laughs> also, I have some things to say about how the show you like is not that good. <laughs> this contrarian who got an op-ed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, I feel like this is just people like on the religious, like religious people online were sharing this to be like, but look, look, religion's oh. good because Hitler didn't like it. Oh my you god, know? what a nightmare! Yeah, yeah, the same people who are losing their minds about Boot, uh, Buttigieg, 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 Buddha Judge, Buddha Judge, Buddha Judge. I'll judge that Bo- Booty Judge. <laughs> Um, um, that's the same way he's making uh, Christians lose their minds because they're like, he's very Republican. There's he's real... the most Republican Democrat, but also he's gay. What do we do? <laughs> 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 that would be, man. Yeah, it would be cool to fuck him. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, what's up? No, I'm just kidding. I'm straight. If any girls are out there listening, <laughs> I am single. Okay, um, cool. 
<laughs> <laughs> no one who has heard your voice is surprised about that. <laughs> <laughs> that guy doesn't get laid. The guy who always sounds like he's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> he always his his vibe is has not been laid. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like that. People, I feel like my vibe is he seems like he's too handsome to be incel. <laughs> Not a high bar, but still. He's an incel? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his personality must be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Also, the Gemini Man trailer dropped. What's that? It's, I don't know about it's this. It's a new Will Smith this movie. Is, I am so out of touch with uh, a lot of stuff, so you, this well, is all Yeah, you're a really me. bad fit for the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, I'm nice, and uh, what are you, what's in the news? It's okay. <laughs> Just laugh at my jokes. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm good for. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's great. I'm, I feel very encouraged, Sick. but also you're a very funny guy. Thank you. Um, oh, boy. Now it feels like roasting. <laughs> no, I was being sincere. Uh, yeah, sincerity from you sounds fake. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I do always sound sarcastic. Yep. All right, Gemini Man. Uh, what is it? So Will Smith, well, it's about me. I'm a Gemini man. My birthday's coming up. Oh, you two-faced bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Women hate it. Women yeah. hate Geminis. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck it's, is this? It's yep. not my, I think it's racism. <laughs> I was born this way. <laughs> I can't change it. Yeah, it is a very funny version of prejudice where everyone's like, look, we can't make fun of anyone for their body <laughs> or for their skin or for anything else. But for the moon? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this moon. This is the other guy, the Jersey guy, is really into astrology. He's only hey, look racist. Look the fucking moon out here taking away jobs. <laughs> this fucking moon piece of shit is a Gemini. <laughs> Let's get him, uh, people of color that are my friends. <laughs> Okay, so That's fun. Gemini Man. Uh, what is it? It's Will Smith. Is it like an action movie or what? Um, Sounds like one. Uh, it's like a sci-fi thing. It's okay. by the life of Pi. It's Ang Lee. He did like the Hulk, the original Hulk. Oh, movie. I saw some headline about that. It was it like based on something. I don't I know. It seems really weird. I mean, it's Will Smith. Uh, runs into a version of himself. He was like cloned, I guess, or mm -hmm. something. And you know. I feel like the idea of uh, like a guy running into a guy who looks just like him is really derivative. Like, have they not seen uh, Muppets Most Wanted? <laughs> <laughs> Same fucking movie. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's already been done, Angley. When Kermit, uh, there was a version of Kermit with a mustache. <laughs> Plus, it's not that weird for hey, people to look hey, like hey. you also. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Hey, uh, it's me, Jordan Peterson. It, I kind of sound like Comet. Oh. Universities. <laughs> I can't do them. It's, that's a guy everyone can do. I can't do the guys everyone can do. I can't uh, do walk-in. I, I have no walk-in. Really? No. Oh, that's very weird. That's a fun blind spot. It turns into Travolta. Every, like, oh, my God, your father's watching his ass. <laughs> it's in his ass. Wait, say, Nicholas, have it be. Do an impression of Christopher Walken in Face Off. Oh, <laughs> My God, <laughs> <laughs> whose face is this? <laughs> it's off. <laughs> Jeez. I regret this. What? <laughs> Sandy, to go on a date with me. Christopher, you can't. You're my you're my enemy. There you go. You finally got one. That's my Nick. That's my Nick Cage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have a couple I can do. Uh, I can do like very specific ones. Like wait, uh, let me do Will like, Smith in do... this movie. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's me. Woo! <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh boy. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> that actually, that phrase is excellent. That is an yeah. excellent impression of that phrase. Well, welcome to Earth. You know, everyone... hey, look, Gemini man. The difference between you and me is I make this look good. Yeah. <laughs> everyone uh, thinks he says "Welcome to Earth." He didn't. He says "Welcome to Earth." Yeah, I know. He's That's very well racist. pronunciated. Yeah, yeah these in. Incredibly well pronunciated. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> he yeah, doesn't th say that. No, he doesn't. But everyone thinks that's what he says. Yeah, everyone's going to claim it's another Nelson Mandela effect. We're like, it's another dimension. Uh, yeah, that's no, why. It can't be that I'm racist. Yeah. I, a different dimension had to yeah. open up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. The ba that's why they think it's the Berenstein Bears. It's like, I those Jewish bears took yeah. all my money. Oh, that's <laughs> the most insane yeah. fucking, like, fucking New York Times did an article about that. Really? Yeah, about how it's the Mandela if effect. If you don't know what the Mandela effect, it's people who think uh, Nelson Mandela was actually a cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Good work. Thank you. No, uh, it's like, what is it? It's like it's people... That he, people thought he died in prison and he didn't. And then, But like when he got released in prison, it like hit a lot of people like a wave where they were like, I thought he was dead. 
Right. And so it, people just refuse to be racist. So instead they're just like, look, uh, what happened is that someone must have changed something in the timeline. That is literally what it is. Yeah. It's an alternate dimension It's theory. such a narcissist millennial. It's insane. It's not that I misremembered it. It's that yes. there's an alternate dimension where Sinbad was in a fucking movie called Shazam or yes, whatever. Yes, Kazam, yeah. They uh, yeah they do that shit and it's I want not, to and, believe though and they're, they're not I like... want to believe it I really do I, I want to believe fun. I want to believe that there is like an, and the only thing that changes like weird pop culture <laughs> shit from the nineties Hey guys so uh I, cha- <laughs> I I I went back to the past and I killed Hitler What's different Well uh there is no more Seinfeld What <laughs> Everything else but is it's the not same not even there's no more It's like no, there was an episode of Seinfeld where he was it, like, like they confuse it for like a Cheers episode or something. It's like, yeah. no, no, there was an episode with Frasier. Frasier was on Seinfeld. <laughs> there was one episode where it happened, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, everyone's like, no, 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 Michael Richards said the N word on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I just did the Laugh Factory. I don't think they're gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> you said the N word on stage. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I thought it was funny, Jerry. Jerry. I filmed it because I thought it was funny. I? I can't deal with it. I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm I losing ra- it. I ran the bit by Bob Takamana. He thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Kramer. Mm. Kramer was the <laughs> My first. My only impression of Elaine is her, yeah. is, the, is the hum she makes while licking her yeah. teeth. <laughs> you just said the N-word on stage. Mm. Do, you think, do you think if that happened in Seinfeld that Kramer, the character, would have been canceled? <laughs> Like, if Kramer did that in Seinfeld. No, if he did it in Seinfeld, the show would have taken a hard left into Friends territory where they've had to have a serious episode. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to take a hard left into a lane. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and then Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> wow. All right, look, here's here's my point. I feel like, and I love going serious right after I say that <laughs> kind of bullshit. I feel like C- Kramer... Or Michael Richards got was the first guy to get like wildly fucked by like the social media camera phone shit. Yeah, you know, probably is that interesting? Uh, yeah, that is not that's that a good he point. Didn't deserve. It. I mean, that was. Oh a, yeah, no, like it wasn't great. Thing. Like he he like it wasn't like an accidentally saying the n word. Like he really was yeah. a piece of shit about it. But uh, yeah, that sounds. Uh, but he's that's like the sacrificial he's lamb. Like, yeah, he's for, one of like the first few. Uh, he was the first one. I feel it was like really? 2006. Wow, that's so early. And it was, yeah, it was just because YouTube had just like came right. out. Right. Have and, you heard Brian Regan? He uh, he t- he. He talks about uh, having a meltdown in stand-up as uh, he, he's used the term pre-YouTube snap. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Hardwick had a meltdown, but then it closed. Oh, really? Yeah. With Jonah and Camille. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> really thought we should accentuate the uh, the silence. You know, when I'm anxious, I just go to puns. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, so it's- But yeah, he was like the first one, like, should we cut him some slack, you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, if he was in it, he, I, he could just like do the, the same first thing. comic other to get people, in trouble ha- for- Other people have done far worse things. Like, uh, Louis did, like, uh, use his power abusively, but, like, he's, like- Can you cut that can out? Just- <laughs> can you please cut that out? This is a pro Louis podcast. <laughs> And only the man, not the comedy. I'm not saying if Louis had said the n word on stage, he said the n word too on yeah, stage, exactly. and nobody canceled him. He's used it in a very different way. What? <laughs> man, I wish Louis didn't jerk off in front of people because what a what a. Uh... But also, like he's I'm the fine. biggest victim like... as an edgy comedian. Now I can never say it. <laughs> no, I'm saying like... I can always say Louis says it. <laughs> Like Lou is ignoring a bunch of the media about his thing, and Cut he's that able out, to. Please. I'm just... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Brandon! I didn't know I was hiring Jezebel to be on no, the podcast. No, I'm just saying he is. His career's fine. <laughs> I don't know about. I mean, he like lost. Oh yeah, definitely. Everything. But I mean, he's able to make a living still. Like he oh, is yeah. like. There's no big tragedy of like him not being able to work. Like there's people who will still watch well, him. Well, he'll never be on TV again, though, right? Oh sure, he will. The, you know, the, the the editor of the CEO of FX said he wants to give him the show back. Like the only thing I stopping think him is media. Said. I no. remember that. No, yeah. he said. Uh, he said we should give. He him said, a, "Oh, sh- a we'll, we'll test the waters or whatever." He's he also said, like, like, yeah, but he said the phrase. Can we you should see give Louis ever chance. hosting SNL ever again? Oh no, definitely. Yeah, not. almost certainly. Oh no, not. like he's definitely not gonna rise to the same level he was at. But like, yeah. he also uh, will fucking not be poor. He's fine. <laughs> I don't feel bad. <laughs> uh, He'll be able to do some shows with the people he uh, who like him. He'll yeah. Be fine. Yeah, I think. Um, you know, I think what he did was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Lil Dicky's Earth video. Did you see this? No. It sucked. Cool story. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so Lil Dicky is like this like fake. You know who he is? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the rapper. Yeah. Well, he did this like really sincere video about saving the planet, and he got like really. Yeah, he got like Leo DiCaprio and like Rihanna to do like one line each, like a shitload of celebrities in it, and it's just like, look, y'all, we gotta save the planet. It's like why. Do I? Why does? Why would anyone care what Lil Dicky has to say about anything? Yeah, that's insane. Oh, it's, the guy who just like gave Chris Brown a fucking huge song again. Like, yeah. why are you? And it was so like non. It, I don't know. It's just weird. No, it, it's very irritating when someone who does that uh, does it from a platform of. Uh, yeah, is the, who do they, whose mind do they think they're changing? Yeah, <laughs> and like the whole thing's like, I love the ocean and I like traveling, and that's why we should save the earth. <laughs> it's the Oh, really? That's yeah. what he says? He's like, he just talks about like different countries that are cool. Oh, my God. And it's like That's animated. Why? And it's, it's, and, and like, hey, look, like, man, I got a lot of money. I'm successful. I want to be able to keep using that money <laughs> to go around different places. I hate, I hate Lil Dicky because he's like not funny enough to be comedy and not good at rapping enough to be a rapper. Yeah, he's like that weird in between mode where he like qualifies just enough to make each category. But yes, like, it, it's, it's like he's he barely qual. It's like oh, he if you got do, me on a he, he's like he's like the musical comedian. We're like they're not that good, but they yeah. because they do two things. They, there's a lower bar. He's what people thought Donald Glover was when he was first doing yeah. rap. You know, that's what he's doing. I mean, yeah, he's just like yeah. Uh, it's just like has, has anyone like dude, Lil Dicky's fucking hilarious. I'll bet there are a lot of people like that. Actually. Yeah, there definitely are. Yeah, are you kidding? Like, have you seen fucking like YouTube comedy? There's so many people yeah. famous on YouTube who are just not funny, but they're comics. I mean, <laughs> Lilian was great because they were so funny and their music was really good. Yeah, and Lil Dicky is just like I'm gonna make mediocre music. Yep, and mediocre comedy. Yeah, and but just get big stars on it so yep. people will listen and. And he's yeah. like a real like top forty rapper now. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's the Tom Cruise effect. You just uh, you're just a fun person, and people give you work. <laughs> yeah. And you're secretly gay. Oh, that too. That's the Tom Cruise <laughs> effect. And you run in every movie for some reason. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what can I say? He was on the Nerdist, and he just goes. They were like, "What's your favorite movie, Tom Cruise?" And he was like, "I just love movies. I love them all. They're all great." <laughs> he, and they're like, "No, no. But what's your like specific favorite?" He's like, "Man, I, love I just love movies. <laughs> I love them. Say your own movie." Say Vanilla Sky. <laughs> yeah, and, oh, that'd be so funny. He's like, Edge of Tomorrow, it's great. It's funny because <laughs> no, no one saw it coming. It's gonna be good. Vanilla Sky sucks because he's ugly for half of it, and I it's like seen it. he's he has like a fucked up face for like most of it, and it's mm. like, oh shit, when you're not handsome, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, in Tropic Thunder, he's pretty damn funny, and, yeah. and he's, like, gross looking. Tom Cruise is great. <laughs> Tom Cruise no, oh, is, he is, is great. He has shockingly good taste in movies. For all the movies he gets himself in, yeah, and he's, like, a bastion he name of his favorite movie. Yeah, he's a bastion of good action and sci-fi movies. Yeah. You know who else? Uh, Sebastian is also a bastion. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Jordan Peele. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just Robin Williams now. Oh, yes, get out. Jordan Peele. Oh, yeah. yes. I'm going to school. Oh, don't you know? Okay. Oh, oh get, yeah. Get out of here. Get, out, get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. I'm not going out, sister. That white lady drugged me. Anyway, <laughs> half of the voices I use are very offensive. How are we doing out here? Yeah, that is funny how it was all just gay guys and black people. <laughs> that was Have like, you, like, uh, I've heard stories about like him doing like uh, improv shows where yeah. he will drop into like, UCB or something. And then, uh, like, every improv team is just like, yeah, you're good at, like, improvising. Of course you can just join our team for a night. And he's usually very funny. But, like, a, a half the time, though, when he did that, it would there would be a black person on the team. And then, like, he would be like, hey, brother, how you do? What's up, blood? And then the guy would shut him down and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> In front of the crowd. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you hear Trump Jr. got beat up at the Comedy Cellar, like, back in 2006? Does not surprise me. For laughing me. too hard at a racist joke? That does not surprise me yeah, at all. Yeah, is that crazy? Uh, I mean, like, I've, like, been to the cellar and seen dudes laugh too hard at stuff like that. And, like, they're very clearly alt-righty dudes. Okay, don't talk about me like that. <laughs> sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, I'll rephrase. I've been at the comedy cellar and seen Robbie Goodman <laughs> laugh too hard at racist jokes. Brandon, I mean, look, <laughs> they're saying it. I'm laughing. <laughs> and then I make eye contact with every black person in the room. Like, huh? Huh? You guys do do that. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen like all righty dudes like get rowdy about like uh, racist all jokes. All righty then. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Race Ventura. <laughs> hey, oh, good. You, yeah. You gotta look at the statistics. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, integrated schools, no spank you. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just afraid of people who look different from me. <laughs> Finkel is Einhorn, but she's white, and that's okay. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Have you seen Pen15? No. It's, Did they uh, do Race Ventura on no, that? No, they don't do Race Ventura, but there is an excellent amount of overly doing impressions of Ace Ventura because uh-huh. it takes place in middle school in the 90s. Uh-huh. And it's they're doing something that all of us wishes we could do literally on stage. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I want to be in the 80s so bad. I would have crushed it in the 80s. <laughs> I, I, have like so, I have so many Hawaiian shirts. I have so many voices. <laughs> I'm sweaty and desperate to be liked. I would be yep. a great 80s comedian. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you've been misplaced. <laughs> You're an old soul. <laughs> I know. I've been misaced. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, how about Space Venture and he's in space? <laughs> Is that the moon? <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going, baby. We're going. Hell yeah. Uh, That's funny. What else is happening? If if Lil Dicky put Ace Ventura in the Earth video, I would have liked it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kanye. Ooh, what else is it that? Uh, uh, is it about uh, Kim getting her uh, degree? Oh, she's getting a law degree. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't get how that's a problem. Can you? Okay, it's imagine your lawyer being Kim Kardashian. I'd be like, great. I'm gonna I'm gonna go free. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah she's gonna use her celebrity power to make this a ca- this case political, and I'll go free. You know what? It probably runs in the family because she's famous because OJ is innocent. Her dad oh, was right. Robert Kardashian. I yeah. yeah. So yeah. You know that's not that weird. It's yeah. a fa- fa- family business. Yes, exactly. It's not crazy. It's fine. Who cares? Yeah. I hope she also only defends murderers. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Plus, there's like a lot of celebrities who have tried. Who's just gonna offend? Did only you watch murderers. that TV show? Which one? Uh, the oh, the, the oh, OJ that? show. No, I have not. Real quick, this is my impression of David Schwimmer in that OJ show. Juice. That's it. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, all right, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I'm interrupting you a lot. I'm sorry. He, uh, that's your thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I mean, like a lot of people, uh, like Mara, Mara Wilson, she was just a fucking child actress, but now, and then she bowed out of being a celebrity, and now she's just a very good she's writer. She's a child actress? Yeah, yeah. Mara? Wait, am I think, who am I thinking of? Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were talking about Mara Matilda. Wiles. Mataro. <laughs> the Matilda. comedian. No, 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 not, Mar- not Mara Wiles. Okay. M- Matilda. How about the child Mario w- Wilson? Who? <laughs> Ma- Mario, Mario, Mara Wilson, that's her name? Mara Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, I used to be a Matilda. <laughs> I control the, the, the books, and now I'm just, I'm, I'm uh, annoying on the Twitter now. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> or how about Mario Wiles? I used to live in a Denver. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm talented. <laughs> 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 Luigi talent. <laughs> oh no, Mario Wilson! <laughs> I'm uh, I live in Denver again. I have a fun characters. I'm a very good comedian. I'm a good at the comedy. I'm weirdly very well liked and very talented. And I'm very friendly. <laughs> 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 All right, so it was Co- no, but it was uh, he trended because it was Coachella weekend two last week, and Kanye oh, yeah. did this performance at nine a.m. only on weekend what? two. He had a performance at 9 a.m. called Sunday Service, where he had everyone dress up in, like, religious robes. Of course he did. And uh, sing gospel versions of his songs. That sounds kind of dope. It was sick. It was, like, awesome. Like a fucking uh, ultralight beam? That yeah. was an amazing song. Yeah, Chance the and Rapper it was, was just, there, too. It was just a gospel song. Yeah, it was, like, really cool. It was, like, three hours long. But it also felt like I was watching a cult. Like, the, I'm not the first one to make this. Is there like, a recording online of yeah, the show? Yeah, you got I mean, it's, it's, it. But it, he also made it so that it was all filmed in, a like, a peephole. Like really? it, 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 so, like in a widescreen version of YouTube, like you can only view it like this tiny little like weird, weird fisheye lens that like huh. went around. It was it was crazy. Oh, that's that's probably that's annoying. Oh, well, I'm gonna watch that though. I love Kanye when he goes gospel. That's pretty yeah, dope. Yeah. Who I don't like going gospel is Chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Does he do that a lot? Oh man, did you not hear his third album? The coloring book? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess he did do gospel. That was that was literally two songs were How Great Is Our God. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Chance is is good. I liked half of Coloring Book. I think uh, the song. Yeah, it was not a, that great an album. No, it was that fine. first debut was great. Do you listen oh, to yeah. hip hop a lot? Uh, I have like a, I have like a really weird taste with hip hop where I really like hip hop that has incredible production of like a beat. Yeah, yeah. Because it's hard for me to pay attention to lyrics without having music to go with it. Yeah. So, like, so you're hard. a white man. Yes, absolutely. No, no, no. <laughs> I think hip hop is really beat dependent for sure. Yeah, like uh, there's a lot of rappers who are like, like half of, uh, like I will recognize that at, m- almost every lyric that fucking Kendrick has written is incredible, but half of his songs I can't pay attention to because there's not really a beat. In yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is why Damn was so big is because he had a beat for every song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like um, I was 
Do you know Anthony Fantano? Have you seen that guy? Uh, no. He's like a big music reviewer. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> I'm talking about someone else's fucking podcast. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, uh, let's see what else. My favorite Chance shit was when he did that that group band uh, with the social experiment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was dope. That I was that cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have led with this. Uh, I mean, as we all know, like there's a huge movie this week. Number one, uh, The Curse of La Llorona. <laughs> Brandon, do you ever get cursed by La Llorona? <laughs> oh, boy. Don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> I fucking hate getting cursed by La Llorona. Uh, every Sunday, I'm like, fucking cursed by yeah. La Llorona. To the tune of My Sharona. <laughs> La Llorona. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of My Sharona. <laughs> the curse of Mike Shinoda, the rapper in Linkin Park. <laughs> I'm cursing you because I'm really sad. I do, t- do like, self-help. I, I do, like, therapy is but verses and rap. <laughs> There was a time when Jay-Z and Lincoln Park... so w- what? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the two of us combined yeah, can be an we, excellent Lincoln, Lincoln yeah. Park cover. <laughs> Huge in two, 2004 is not ready for this. Or my Bam Margera impressions. <laughs> or One my thing. Cor- <laughs> I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. <laughs> I want so far. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jay-Z's like, Jay, why am I here? <laughs> I'm too cool for this. Oh man, I remember uh, the uh-huh, most. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Mike should know. I just learned your name. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. I was like, Jay Z seems so disinterested. Yes, I remember that. I was like, Who's this bored guy on the album? <laughs> That's what you call Jay Z. How dare you? I didn't know who Jay Z was. Oh, until, okay. Because yeah. I was like, uh, I hadn't listened to music until high school. So oh, like, yeah. I have a whole like bit about it. But like, Shrek Two is my first album I ever bought. That was funny. Myself. I saw you tweet that. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so Avengers is out this week. Yeah, dude, I'm going to see it tomorrow. Oh, nice. Yeah, I thought, like, all tickets were sold out, but they're not. You can just go see it. Yeah, no, it's not like a... It's yeah. not like fucking. I mean, if you want to see like a peak time IMAX 3D, that'll be sold out. But yeah, sure. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I'll see it tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Where, are you, where are you going? Uh, Williamsburg Cinemas. Nice. Uh, I have to show up an hour early. I'm sure. I got the AMC A list. It fucking rocks. Oh, I want to do that. You can see IMAX and 3D, and they upgrade your popcorn. This is sponsored by AMC A list. <laughs> Williams- Williamsburg Cinema, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> This was an official ad read from uh, AMC A list. I keep wanting to actually sign up for that because it's Movie Pass, but with IMAX, it's not that expensive. No, yeah, and like, like Movie Pass was cheap, but still twenty. It's still, especially if you live in a big city. Yeah, that's the pr- that one month is the price of one ticket. Yeah, no, I yeah, I saw Captain Marvel and Us, and I made like yeah, that's. T- that, yeah, it's great. It's basically like I got a cheaper ticket to Captain Marvel. Yeah. Oh boy, did you see the other Captain Marvel? What? The 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 just as disappointing Shazam. No, I, that looks bad to me. It it's, looks like it's for children. Oh really? Uh, I mean, like the, the commercials were what fooled me. I thought the commercials looked incredible. It just looked like it's for kids to me. Is it? No. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it was. I thought it was like. I hate child actors. I really just don't like movies with child actors. Mm, I mean, the comic books were a bastion of, Except like, for Hereditary. That good, shit bangs. I did not see that because it looked too scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a scared man. Uh, it was, like, it's a very good uh, character because, like, a lot, it, it, they can, they only get good writers to do the comic books usually, most of the time, so it can be, like, a good writer doing a very sweet story. Right. But the movie, and the movie, the commercials look so good, and the reason is because they had a very, very bad movie that was punched up incredibly well for half of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just absolute trash for 40 minutes. Wow. He doesn't get his powers for 40 minutes. Holy fuck. And then all of a sudden, it's a night and day. All of a sudden, it's a good movie for one hour. Uh-huh. And then the very end sucks again. Oh, okay. Yeah. An hour is a good amount of time for a movie to be good, Like, though. I would say, I would tell everyone, wait till it's out on video, then fast forward till he gets his powers. Okay, cool. Because literally the first 40 minutes- That's are, how I feel yeah. about Mike Myers. Really? Fast forward till he gets his powers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Austin Powers. <laughs> no, no. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so what was trending today, the number one trending topic is hashtag thank you Avengers. Oh. Who the fuck is thanking fictional Who characters? Who cares? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, why? I how are this... you a grown adult? Thinking like, like a corporatized event. <laughs> I, li- I like these movies. I mostly yeah. like the comic book movies. I, uh, one of my mo- biggest. That's like along the lines of when someone told didn't like that I criticized Last Jedi because yeah. they said they called it an art, and they said you can't criticize art. And I'm like, yeah. of all things to call art. Yeah, <laughs> you're like I don't like it because it's a there's too many women in it. <laughs> Not because it's a big... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not because of the problems with the pacing or the editing. Uh, also, there's bad art. 
Yeah, like, art's bad a lot of the a time. There's a lot of bad <laughs> art. You, you don't get to not criticize something because it exists. You know something's dumb when calling it art makes it sound like better. Oh, you know that that makes it not art if you have to be like it's art, it's art. You yeah, know, it's yeah, like yeah. well, art is bad a yeah, lot. Yeah, art, a lot of art's real trash. Ugh. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, so, but I like I I like the movie. I never have the urge to like thank a fictional. Like I no. love there will be blood. I'm not like thank you Daniel Plainview. <laughs> Do they think the Avengers? Fucking <laughs> actually save New York City. Do they I think that- drink your gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and thank me. I I drink your likes. Thank me. <laughs> thank me, Eli. Uh, yeah, shouldn't you thank the screenwriters of the Avengers? Isn't that who you should thank? Uh, God yeah, damn it! Right? I, I never. I thought when I was a kid, I wanted nerds to rule, and now that they do, I just oh, no, it's a bring back jocks. I saw someone tweeted God. there like, Winterfell this weekend and the Avengers. It's almost like. Uh, jocks are being shoved into lockers. It's like, no! No, it's not. Everyone watches that. Everyone likes this. It's not a nerd thing. It's, it's no. not thinking that your <laughs> normal thing to like is an identity. Uh, I love being a nerd who just hates so many other kinds that's, of nerds. That's my general thing is being a nerd who hates nerds. I've been get, I've been streaming video games lately just because I play video games. I'm like, why not turn on a camera because I talk to myself enough? Right. The thing I'm finding out is that you have to communicate and build a community with people who talk with you, and everyone who watches sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, back to that Will Smith thing. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, like, he's running into himself, right? Sure. He should run into himself from 20 years ago, That uh, a version that doesn't pick shitty movies to be in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All hey, right. buddy, Suicide Squad, don't do it. <laughs> All right. Lightning round. Uh, Santa Clarita Diet got canceled. Did you watch it? What did? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Eaters... <laughs> Idris Elba got married, huh? He's a hot hey, piece of nice. ass. Yeah, he's off the market hot now. Hot fella. Uh, yeah. That's disappointing. He's so cool. He was great in The Wire. Yep. I don't think <laughs> everyone wants him to be Bond. I think he'd be a great Bond, personally. Yeah, sure. yeah. But I don't understand, like, why does he need to be James Bond? Like, why Why do people, like, want that oh, so no, bad? Oh, no, it's the same. It's just because it's fun to claim it. The same way with Donald Glover being Spider-Man. Yeah. It was just fun to want that person to be it. Right, that's right, it. right. Got it. It's just a, I think it's just a fun uh, bandwagon it's thing. It's like, why don't you make your own new, a new thing that's better? Like, the Fast and the Furious is basically, like, like yeah, sure. Black Bond, right? Who's black in that? Ludacris? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Vin Diesel's black, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, no, Our give him, a, give him like, get a new John Wick, like his yeah. own property that's like good, like a fun action spy yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy, can't wait for John Wick three, but buddy, that's, dude, I am Woo! that that I'm like uh, really did, fucking ooh, stoked fun for news. That. Did you hear about CanuCon? No. It's a it's a it's a convention in Scotland that's a uh, Keanu Reeves movies showing. That sounds like a fun convention at first, but it's actually literally just uh, them screening movies. There's no promise of him being there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been running Whoa. Keanu Khan in my bedroom all for every week. He's in a lot <laughs> of good movies. Yeah, he's great. The Devil's Advocate is a fucking great movie. I don't know that one. It's him and Al Pacino, and Al Pacino goes, uh, he just, oh, yeah, the last 30 minutes, he's just like, You fucking idiot! <laughs> I'm the devil! <laughs> I'm the devil, and you're going to hell! You're to, going to, su- to southern, to drunk yeah, southern. It's just Cosby. Al Pacino. <laughs> you know, now, me and Robert De Niro, we're in the heat. Uh, the heat's <laughs> on. You got the heat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keanu. <laughs> uh, it was Easter th- last week. Did you do anything? Uh, oh, I. Uh, it's in the news. Easter's in the news. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, what I. Oh, I had big plans. I got in a fight with my girlfriend. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to wrap this up. Uh, Brandon, you have anything to plug? Uh, what do I got to plug? Uh, yes, I have my show, Let's Be Friends, monthly fun show at the Starliner Bar in Bushwick. I interview stand-ups on how I can become their friend very desperately. Uh, you've been on it. That was fun. It was. That was a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the now Footlight. It's, yeah, that was at Footlight then, but like Footlight's a cool bar, but uh, Starliner's a very like friendly bar. They've been taking care of the show, so it's there now. That's uh, cool. It's cool that they're into like comedy there. Yeah, they're very like helpful. And that's like, sick. Uh, yeah, they're like getting good equipment there. They're getting chairs and stuff. Have it's you thought good. about moving it outside now that the weather's nice? I thought I want to do that, but it turns out they're about to start constructing a restaurant outside, so there's not really much room to do it out there. Mm. So I might do it still. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. Um. But but yeah, that's a uh, third Wednesdays. The next one is on May fifteenth. It's Books, good, great show. comics on it. Really good. Thanks. Good taste in comedians. Thank on that. you. That is the. Uh, I'm good. Com- I'm good. I'm done with comedy now. That's all I've ever wanted to be told. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be canceled after this comes out. <laughs> um, what else?
else do I have? Uh, I have a pilot in development hell that will never be released. Is that if a, you keep an eye out for that. <laughs> is that super trash? Yeah. Uh, we actually got, Oh, that's like, a sick show. I love like jumping in on that. Thanks. Yeah, that's a fun show. That's another show I have. That's every second Wednesday. The next one is on, I think it's the 8th. Yeah, February or May 8th uh, at Dromedary Bar in Bushwick. That's very fun. Less comedy showish. It's just like a night of video games. Come hang out. It's like karaoke, but for video games. Yeah, there's drinking rules that are called jaw rules. <laughs> yeah. And you, uh, yeah, it's fun. You got to drink if you die. Makes it so uh, you, it like combines like non nerds and nerds. It's a yeah. very fun, casual hang. I say it's like eight mile for autistic guys. <laughs> It's cool, yeah. though. I really like that show. Thanks. Yeah, it's that's fun. a fun one. Um, yeah. I got to come to the next one. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's... Uh, I don't... Oh, I'll be in Philly uh, May 3rd if you're there. I'm opening for uh, uh, Brendan Crick, who's doing an hour. I'm doing a guest cool. spot. Not Is that opening? Is a guest spot opening? Probably not. Uh, I mean, I, it may as well just say that. I mean, like, in terms of, like, whoever yeah. watches... Yeah. Look, I've been open for fucking Steve-O, like David Twitey. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you he really got some heat about that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to open for Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar Steve-O? Instead uh, of here? Okay, I'm running out of gas. But boy, are you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. Fuck. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing that. That'll be fun. I mean, okay, the biggest thing for Let's Be Friends is uh, follow it. Uh, follow that or Super Trash Bros on, on Instagram. We cool. post about the shows on there. All right. All right, all right. Uh, thanks everyone for listening, and yeah, uh, we'll for see me. you soon. We got uh, we got hot guests coming up. Tight. Thanks.